Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another comic book review. Now, earlier this year, I reviewed the Marvel Zombies one shot and I really dug that issue. I thought the story was really cool. And right off the top, the creators of this comic book series, they weren't playing around as some of Marvel's biggest and baddest already fell victim to becoming a respawn. But now we're gonna look at issue number one of this four part series. Will it keep up with the momentum and the excitement that the one shot brought? Well, let's get on with the review. Now, Spider-Man has been tasked with looking after Reed and Sue's kids, Franklin and Val, if they did not return. And in the one-shot issue, that was the case. Here in issue one, Peter will not only have to use his spidey senses to deal with zombified superheroes, but he'll also have to deal with his own personal dreams of what the future could hold. Through the first part of this issue, Peter, Franklin, and Val will set out with Moonstone and Forge as they make their way towards the X Mansion. But along the way, these five will not only have to deal with generic respawn, but a zombified Nightcrawler as well. Luckily for them, they do have backup in the form of a Sentinel who has had some rewiring and has now been given the name Nana. And while the respawn might present a challenge for our survivors, the real struggle will be getting them to cooperate with one another without wanting to rip each other's heads off. When our group of five finally reach the X Mansion, they find it in a pretty decrepit state. As they walk the halls of the once prestigious school, it's now littered with writing all over the wall for most likely the Deadheads, a group of people who worship the respawn who believe they are the next step in evolution. After some exploration of the X Mansion, Peter and Forge pry open a pantry door and find a group of humans being held captive. But as these humans get to run free, well, the Deadheads, they're not happy that these humans were their sacrifices that they were holding held captive as an offering. And that offering is gonna be Beast who has taken a turn to the dark side. Beast goes on a rampage and no one from a Deadhead to Forge was safe. The only thing that stopped Beast in his tracks was the assistance of Nana, who showed Beast, well, he wasn't that headstrong. There is a startling revelation that the headless Beast can still communicate and tries to manipulate the Richards kids, but realizing it's a trap, Moonstone evaporates the head of Beast. After all this chaos, Moonstone decides it would be better for her to go out on her own. Franklin and Val are sure that they have figured a way to possibly get their parents to return to a normal life, but they will first have to track down Galactus. But Peter argues with them that none of this is a good idea and deeply believes, plain and simple, there is no cure. As Peter, Val, and Franklin try to get some rest, they're ambushed by a zombified Moonstone who really has her eyes set on showing Peter why living like this is so much better. But for Moonstone here, her time as a respawn, well, it's literally cut short by none other than Blade, who is ready to join the party. Now on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give Marvel Zombies issue number one an eight out of 10. Did it have the same impact as the one shot? No, but it did lay a good foundation moving forward for the next three issues. Writer Philip Kennedy Johnson does a good job with the story and with character conflicts. That even though these characters should all be on the same page, they each have their own agendas. As far as the art by Leonard Kirk and the color by Rachel Rosenberg, I thought it was good for the most part. There was just nothing here that really blew me away. Now this comic does run at a $5.99 price point, but there is a bit more content in here than your standard comic. Now have you guys read Marvel Zombies issue number one? And what are your thoughts? And if you haven't, I think if you enjoyed the one shot and you're looking forward to more Marvel Zombies, then you should definitely go out and pick this one up. All right guys, if you like comic book reviews like this, make sure you subscribe here to Tony In Entertainment for future videos. Subscribe to the channel. Do it. Go now. Do it now.